50 years ago, petrol cost 22 pence a gallon. Cost of the average house, 7,900 pounds. And on average, we were earning 1,000 pounds a year. And it was also the year, 1964, that two Kens, Ken Smith and Ken Day, built this, Swift's first caravan. It's made from aluminium and back in the day cost 289 pounds. But just look at it. Windows at either end, wheels in the middle, and you can cook, eat, sleep, and wash in it. So little's changed over the years, has it? Well, of course they have. In 2014, you need a small mortgage to fill your car up with fuel, and a larger one to buy an average house for that matter. And Swift has launched what they describe as the most exciting breakthrough in caravan design and construction ever. Well, I know it still looks like a caravan. I'm not talking about reinventing the wheel here, but boy, it's a wheel that's been updated. This is the Sterling Continental, one of two brand new models along with the Swift Elegance that Swift Group is launching for the 2014 season. Now, there are other films on the Swift TV website that I go into more detail along with the design director, Chris Milburn, of both the Swift and the Sterling models. But just look at this. First impressions, it's a much more attractive caravan. The flush-fitting grab handles, the track for the awning, the skirts at the bottom of the walls that lead to the spats over the Scorpion alloy wheels. It gives a much more substantial feel to this caravan, a more usable feel, and it has a much sleeker demeanour. Swift has shaved a further 18% off the drag coefficient of this van. This slides through the air smoother than any other caravan Swift has produced. Now that's got to be good for our fuel economy, hasn't it? And the totally timberless body construction means this is tougher, it's more durable, and inside it's roomier. And details matter. Details such as the handles that are easier to use, the panoramic roof that is larger, letting more light inside. The rear lights, they're LED, they, they just give the impression of being more streamlined, more, more car-like. They've really paid a lot of attention to detail. Oh yes, and the aluminium sides have gone. This is GRP, tougher and more durable. And that attention to detail continues in here as well. Of course, you've got the modern contemporary look and quality that you would expect from Swift, but there's more of that quality in these models. For example, the cast foam bedding for greater comfort, the gloss smoked wood finish on the cupboards. It creates a really luxurious feel. And the lighting in here, it's, it's so well designed, you feel that you can change the mood of the caravan. Now, of course, it takes touches from other models as well, such as the Aldi central heating, the Dometic fridge, and the Duvalet mattress as well. But there's more of those ideas in the new models as well. For example, the domestic-style towel radiator in the bathroom, the high mac work surface in the kitchen. There's even soft-closed drawers. You know, when it designed the interior, of this caravan, Swift said it wanted to create an atmosphere similar to a boutique hotel. And do you know what? I think they cracked it. Let's move on from the Continental to the Swift Elegance. It's a range that shares the body shell with the Continental and it's called the Smart HT system. It's a technology with patent pending for Swift Group and it's a GRP interior and exterior walls and roof with aluminium jointing. And the floor is the first timberless floor in the UK. The Alco chassis is shared as is the larger panoramic roof that I've already mentioned. The graphic scheme is different on the elegance but look again the trim at the bottom of the walls, the spats over the wheels, and the exclusive Scorpion alloys, all shared with the Continental. Inside, the Mali Acacia gloss cupboard fronts, complemented by the cast foam seat fabric, really give a, a luxury again, but also a traditional feel to this caravan. The lighting design, once more, really sets it off. But one of the things that I really like in these models as well 
is the plug cluster on the binnacle at the front of the van. Now, of course, there are other plugs set around the vehicle, but the ones on the front, very easy to access. There are a couple of light switches, and also a first on these caravans as well is a USB point. Now, the commercial director of Swift Group is Nick Page, and I'm delighted that he's able to join us to tell us more about this. Thank you for coming in. It, it, it's a product of which you must be extremely proud. Yeah, we're absolutely delighted with the results, Blair. Um, I mean, there's three real elements to the caravan that really excite us. There's a the design, the specification, and then the technology behind the caravan as well. Certainly from a design point of view, um, from an exterior, we think it's the most stunning looking caravan that we've ever developed here at Swift. Uh, and there's some beautiful caravans in the Conqueror and the Challenger and the Sprite Rangers now. But because of the technology used, it's been able to create this kind of pan shape around the front and the back of the caravan. And the benefit of that is we've created also the most aerodynamic caravan we've ever made. But certainly the van looks stunning on the road. Um, the brief for the interior was to create a kind of chic uh, boutique hotel look. And I certainly think if you look around now, uh, and the designers have done a, a stunning job. From a specification point of view, because the base vehicle and the technology has made the caravan a little bit lighter, we've been able to absolutely load it with, with extras that we've never been able to do on a caravan before. Um, and obviously the technology involved, five years in the making, two and a half million pounds worth of investment, uh, and a huge amount of testing, more testing than we've ever done on any caravan. Um, we're absolutely excited and delighted uh, with the results, mm. so uh, we can't wait to launch this caravan uh, in the next few weeks. So who do you expect your customers to be for them? Well, you know, we're very clear that this is a very niche top-end caravan. Um, it's right at the top end of our price range. Um, but as I said earlier, um, the fact that the technology has allowed us to take weight out, we've actually loaded that with loads of specification. Um, so creating a real luxury caravan, um, you know, kind of we describe it as the ultimate touring caravan uh, and creates a real kind of home from home uh, when you're away. So um, it is a top end product and we think it would be, you know, really people that like, you know, great style, um, high specification. Uh, and great quality. Mm, mm. Well, good luck with them. Thanks, Thanks very, very much. much indeed for talking to us. Nick Page. Do you know, 50 years ago, as we saw earlier on with the Swift 10, Swift Group broke ground even then. This year, their 50th birthday. My, how technology has changed. If you would like more details on the specifications, the layouts, and of course the prices, then go to the website, where else? Swiftgroup.co.uk.